Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Three Looks One palette. Today we're using the Too Faced Teddy Bear palette. This is one of my favorites and I'm going to show you how versatile this palette can be. Starting off look number one with the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. I'm also going to add a touch of the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot on top of this primer. So first I start with a Milani primer and smooth it all over the eyelid, but before it dries, I'm taking the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and adding a very thin layer of this paint pot. This will add a little bit of concealing on the lid and just help hide some of the veins on my eyelid. Now going in with the E50 from Sigma and the shade Bear It All. This is a matte cream shade and I'm just putting this lightly under the brow. I'm not bringing this down too far because I don't want this area to be too bright. So just smoothing that over and then taking the Morphe M504 and I'm going to go into a combination of the two big shades in the palette. So those are the Snuggle is Real and Sharing is Caring. By the way, I think these names are just so cute. So I'm just putting that all through the crease very lightly. This look is going to be all matte and a very diffused kind of neutral color. So I'm going back with a little bit of the Snuggle is Real along the edge just to help tone down the pink tones a little bit. Going in with the Morphe M433, now I'm using the shade Fuzzy Wuzzy, another fun shade, and I'm using this fluffy brush with this deeper shade because I want a little bit of depth, but I don't want it to get too dramatic. So by using a fluffier brush, it's giving me the ability to really diffuse the color, but this is slightly more of a pinched brush, so I have a little more control than I would if I were using the Morphe M504. So just really lightly going around the edge of that, making sure it's nice and diffused. And then I'm gonna go back with the E50 and a little bit of Gilda Bear. And this shade just has a slight hint of pink to it versus the one we used under the brow. And I think that hint of pink adds a little more awakeness to the eye. So I really like this on the lid. And as I said, since we're doing an all matte look, this is one way to really brighten up that inner part of the eye and make you look like you got more sleep than you did. Next, I'm going in with the Pixi Silky Endless Eye Pen in the shade Black Cocoa. I'm starting off on the lower lash line. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do on the upper lashes. So starting off down here, smoothing it about halfway across on the lower lash line, blending it in with my finger. And then I'm gonna go up to the upper lash line and just the outer third. And I'm gonna use my finger at first just to kind of blend that in. And then I'm gonna go in with the Sedona Lace 561. This is just an angled brush. And I'm using the deepest shade in the palette called Boop. This, I'm going to press this into the lash line right over where we applied that liner. The liner just helps this shadow uh, give it something to adhere to so it stays more precise throughout the day. And then I'm going to put a little bit of that on the lower lash line up against the lashes and then go in with Fuzzy Wuzzy because I didn't want this to get too dark and dramatic down here. That's why I chose to go in with that next lighter shade and then just working it in with my fingers. And then I'm gonna go in with a Q-tip and further diffuse that line up there against the lashes. This is just a great way if you don't wanna use a brush, you can always use a Q-tip. And then I'm gonna take the Morphe M4 and just a touch more of Fuzzy Wuzzy and just make sure that whole outer edge is nice and softly blended. I'm going to next clean up under the eyes with a little bit of almond oil and now my trio of mascaras for this whole video will be the Origins Underwear for Lashes, the Essence Lash Princess False Effect Mascara, and on the lower lashes I'll be using the Calaray Mascara. And I went ahead and did that, fixed my hair, now it's time for blush. I'm using the Laura Geller Blush and Brighten. This is in the shade Starfish Island. I love this shade and you'll see it just really helps give that added look of awakeness and freshness to the face. So if you're going lighter on the eyes, consider adding maybe a little brighter pop on the cheeks. And I think that just 
helps bring the look together. For highlighter, I'm kind of sticking with the matte theme. I'm using the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Highlight 01 and the MAC 140 Fan Brush. I love this highlighter. I think it is especially wonderful for mature skin. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that on the inner corner of the eyes. So this doesn't have any glitter particles, but it does just add a nice bit of brightness and glow. And I felt like the inner corner of the eye just needed that little extra pop to help the eyes look more awake and fresh. So next to add our lip color, I'm first starting off with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. You'll see me do this in all three lips as well. I do this to help even out my lip line and also to prevent my lip liner, lipstick, gloss, everything from bleeding. Now for liner, I'm using the Smashbox Be Legendary Prime and Line Lip Liner in Medium Neutral Rose. And you'll see I am bringing this color a little bit further in from the edge. So I almost filled in my entire lip. And then I decided to bring in the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in White Russian Sparkle. This added a little bit of pink to the look and I just loved this whole combination, but I think this is a perfect look, whether you're hanging out at home like I was in a cute little sweatshirt, or if you have errands to run, I think this is a great casual everyday look. So now we're gonna go to the exact opposite, and we're gonna go to something a little more dramatic. So I started off with the Milani eyeshadow primer, but did not add the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot this time. Going into the palette, again using Bare It All on the E50 under the brow as my highlight shade. And I am putting a decent amount of this down because we are gonna have a little more drama going on. Next, going in with the Morphe M504 and the shade The Snuggle Is Real. I'm going to put this above the crease and blending it slightly up into that highlight shade because I do have a little more color on my skin today and so I didn't want that brow bone highlight to be too bright. Next, we're going in with a shade I rarely use. It's called Teddy Bear and this is a beautiful kind of soft ochre color and it though is so pigmented so that's why I went in first with the Snuggle is Real to kind of tone it down just a little bit but I brought that all through the crease and then I'm going to go down with a slightly denser brush this is the Morphe M433 putting a little more of that a little bit lower on the crease and onto the lid and so we're just going to work our way down this is going to be kind of almost a fall inspired look so next going back in with the fuzzy wuzzy shade again but i'm using the bk beauty 203 brush this is a small dense shadow brush and so it has a little bit of fluffiness on the edge of it which allows me to kind of soften the edge but it's allowing me to really pack this color on so you can see how much depth of color you can get from just this one shade so I put that all the way across the lid from almost the inner corner to the outer corner and then I'm bringing it up to the crease and then I'm going to take the Morphe M433 and the shade Mama Bear which doesn't have quite as much pink as um, sharing is caring so it's a little a little more of a tan shade just using that all through the crease to blend everything out and then I'm going back with the M504 and a combination of teddy bear and the snuggle is real to go really lightly around the edge because I still want to see a hint of that golden ochre color coming through when we finish the look now it's time for a liner. I'm starting off on the lower lash line with the Bare Minerals Mineralist Liner in the shade Copper. And I'm putting this on the lower lash line about halfway across or so. I'll use my finger just to help blend it out, but really pressing that into the lashes. And then I'm using the Morphe M432 and more of Fuzzy Wuzzy. I really love this shade. And I'm pressing that into the roots of the lashes at the outer edge. And then you'll see I'm trying to give myself just a little faint hint because I'm going to be doing a winged liner. So I kind of want to give myself a little guideline there. Now to finish up the lower lash line, I'm doing a combination of Teddy Bear and the Snuggle is Real, what we have through the crease using that kind of in the middle 
to help further diffuse that. And now it's time for liquid liner. So you can see I got started on the right eye. I will actually go back later and kind of even things out, but I'm using the KVD Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. So this is dark brown, not quite as harsh as black, but you'll see it almost looks black when we're done. So you'll see I just started with my eye open just to find the right placement for my wing, and then I brought that pin across the lash line really close to the lashes on the inner corner, and now I'm filling in and thickening that wing on the outer corner and I'm just constantly kind of taking a look back with my eye open and adding just a little bit more. So winged liner is a little tricky on hooded eyes. I do have a whole video, I'll link it down below. But after evening things out, I'm just cleaning up under the eyes with some almond oil and I added mascara and now for inner corner. This is what I came up with. So starting off with a little bit of fur real this is a shimmery warm gold shade and so I started off with my finger to get the most concentration of, of pigment and then used the e30 from Sigma to blend it out then I'm topping it with a little bit of bare it all I was trying to bring a little more brightness to it and make it look a little less orangey yellow. And then I decided as one final touch to bring in the RMS Luminizing Highlighter and just added that on the inner corner and you'll see that just really added a nice bright pop. So we have shimmer on the inner corner but the rest is completely matte. Staying with that same highlighter, went ahead and highlighted my face. I'm doing this before blush today, why not? Using the 140 fan brush from MAC, putting that on the high points of the face. And for my blush, I chose one of my favorites. This is the Patrick Ta Blush Duo in She's So LA. I love this combination of blushes in here, especially for a warm eye. It really adds the perfect amount of kind of a little bit of some peachiness, but there's warmth, so it almost looks like I added just bronzer. I don't know, I love this color. So I started off with the powder on the E4 from Morphe, and then going in with the 522 from Luxie. I'm using the cream on top of the powder, and it just adds a little more color, but also adds a little bit of glow to the cheeks. Now I styled my hair in this wild and crazy do. Don't even ask me why, but hey, we're having a little fun today. So I did also apply the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and for my lip combination, I wanted to do a true nude lip. It's been a long time since I've done this, so starting off with the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Cheat. This is one of the most fabulous nude lip colors that I own. So put that around the lips, and then I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Kim KW. This is a beautiful pinky nude shade. So, so pretty, and you'll see I'm being careful to make sure I cover up that liner, and then I'm going back with the liner, and this is just how I avoid having that odd kind of brown line with nude lips. So just making sure everything is blended together. And then I always like to add a little bit of gloss with a nude lip. So this is the Wayne Goss Gloss in Hibiscus. I'm just putting a little bit of this in the center of the lips. It adds a little bit of fullness. And because we have the matte eye, or mostly matte eye, I think this little bit of shimmer is a nice touch. So here is the finished look with the hair and everything. It does look so dramatic but I think this look is quite different than the first one and this next one to come, and I just absolutely love it. Now this third and final look, I started off with the Milani eyeshadow primer, and you can tell by my pink shirt, we are going pink with this look. So starting off again with the Bare It All eyeshadow on the E50 under the brow, and then I'm gonna take the Morphe M504 and do a combination of Gilda Bear and Embarrassed. And by doing this, it is going to diffuse that bright pink shade so it allows us to have more of a gradation of color so it doesn't get too bright too fast. So I'm putting this in the crease and above, blending up towards the brow bone highlight shade that we have there. And then I'm just building up a little more in that outer corner 
and I will be going down to a smaller brush and intensifying this a little bit, but this just allows you to go slowly with that pink shade and not get too much pink all at once. So now I'm going down to the Morphe M433 and I'm gonna do a combination of embarrassed and sharing is caring. This is another way that I like to wear this bright pink because it makes it look a little more neutral. It gives it a little more depth without getting too dark. So adding that slightly brown tone to the pink I think helps neutralize it just slightly. Next, I'm going in with that same brush, the Morphe M433 and the shade Boop. And you're gonna see what I'm doing is I'm just stamping this right into the outer corner. Again, I'm using a fluffy brush with this shade because I don't want it to be too dark. So I'm stamping the color and then very, very lightly blending the edges out into the other shades we have in the outer corner. And then I'll go back with just sharing is caring and use that to diffuse the edges of that dark shade. So we have a little bit of depth out here in the outer corner, but it's not getting dark and scary. So you can go back and forth between those two shades until you get the depth that you want. I added just a little more of that boob shade. And again, I'm just keeping this concentrated right there in the outer corner and then lightly diffusing the edges so that it's blended, but I'm not taking that color all the way through the crease. On the lid, I started off with the Sigma E57 and Gilda Bear. So this is the one that has a little bit of a hint of pink. And I put that on the lid just to add a little bit of brightness. I don't know that you would necessarily need to do this step, but I thought it might brighten this pink glittery shade just a little bit. So next I'm going in with Press Paws, which is one of my favorite shades in the whole palette. It's a beautiful shimmery pink shade. And yes, there's lots of shimmer in here and I'm going for it in this look. Now, what I did on my left eye, I'm gonna show you how I finished this out. So I'm gonna take the Sigma E60 and the shade For Real, which is more of the gold tone, and I'm gonna wet my brush with the Maybelline Fixing Spray, and I'm going to tap that gold shade right in the center of the lid over that pink shade. And because the brush is damp, it's going to bring a little more shine to the shadows, but that gold is going to help create more of a duochrome look. So I'm gonna go now back and forth between the gold and that pink with my finger and just tap on the gold, tap on a little bit of the pink, and you can go back and forth with these two to create your own custom shade. But I just loved that combination. So one final blend through the crease is with the Snuggle is Real and the Morphe M433, just on the inner part of the crease. This is another tip to help prevent your eyes from looking sick if you're wearing pink, is bring more of a neutral color through the inner part of that crease. On the lower lash line, this is my other trick. I use the Mushroom Urban Decay Liner. It's a taupey gray shade, and this just cools off the look so your eyes don't look like they're red all the way around. I'm using the Morphe M432, just pressing that liner into the lashes and below the lashes. We're not gonna use any shadow down here today, so that's it. And then I'm gonna use the Sedona Lace 561, and we're just gonna do shadow liner today. So I'm using the shade Boop, and I'm pressing that into the roots of the lashes and I am going to give myself just a tiny little flick here at the end with this shadow, but you'll see it creates just the most beautiful, soft definition at the lash line and just that light little bit of a lift on the outer lashes that I need personally. And then I'll just bring that shadow in about three quarters of the way along the upper lash line. And then it's time to clean up under the eyes with some almond oil. And then of course I will curl the lashes and apply that trio of mascara. Fixed the hair of course, and did the brows and everything. And now it's time to do one final touch to the lash line. So because I didn't use 
a liner. I sometimes like to go back with the liquid liner. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. And I'm just pressing this under my lashes into the roots of them. And it helps darken the lash line and it helps me not see any of the skin of my upper lash line showing through. You don't have to do this step, but I just personally like doing this sometimes when I'm wearing pink shadow. And now we definitely need some color on those cheeks. So if you have the Bare Minerals Kiss of Pink Bronzer, I know that was limited edition, but you can use that. If not, you can use this inexpensive dupe. It's two blushes from Essence. So first you start off with Beloved. This is a beautiful pink shade all on its own using the Morphe E4 and just putting that on the tops of the cheeks and above the brow. And then I'm going in with Bespoke, which is a beautiful shade all on its own. And just the two combined create this most beautiful, almost sun-kissed look on the cheeks. And then I'm gonna go back to that RMS highlighter and the MAC 140 fan brush, put this on the high points of the face. So tops of the cheeks, bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow. And then of course I decided I wanted to put this on the inner corner as well, because I just love a bright inner corner. And I love how this ties in with the highlighter we have on the rest of the face. So placing that first with my finger, that is going to give me the most pigmentation. And then I always like to go in with the Sigma E30 and just further diffuse that and blend it up into the crease and up onto the lid just slightly. So it gives us a really nice bright inner corner. Going around the edge of the lips one last time with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And then for my lip combination, I wanted kind of a medium pink color. So I'm starting off with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. And I am not completely filling in the lips, but almost with this lip liner. And then I'm gonna go on top of it with the BK Beauty Luxe Lipstick in the shade Acceptance. These are, in my opinion, one of the longest wearing cream lipsticks, but yet they still remain comfortable on the lips. So I just love how girly and fresh and springy this lip looks, but decided it needed a little Wayne Goss gloss and hibiscus in the center just to pull the whole look together. And overall, I love this rosy pink look, but I love all of the looks I've created with this palette. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Hope you loved seeing the versatility with this palette. Check the description box for links to all of the products and I'll see you next time.